What's up, guys? No ads on this episode from me, which means that this is almost 100% funded by the Patreon. Patreon.com slash WHGS. We cannot survive without it, and you can donate for as little as a dollar a month. $3, you get to see my weekly show every Sunday streamed live on Zoom. $5, you get bonus episodes and uncut episodes, and then $10, all of that, and even more bonus episodes and their comps, all kinds of cool stuff, patreon.com slash WHGS. We cannot live without it, so thank you so much to those of you who donate. My tour is massive. I don't want to say all the cities. There's there's so many. There's dozens of cities. There might be over 30. Last I counted, there was over 25. AshleyGavin.com to sign up for my mailing list or my text alerts. I will only text you once a year or email you once a year when I'm in your city. That is it. I will never bother you, and I don't sell data. Please, it helps me so much. I can't tell you how often people miss posts because sometimes they don't listen to episodes or not checking their Instagram, whatever. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm a huge fan. When are you coming here? And I've already been there and they missed me. So please, for peace of mind, for me, for you, AshleyGavin.com, uh, go get on that. And then today, a oh, great guest, a fan favorite from this past season of Queer Eye, Angel Flores, in- so funny, our first professional athlete, um, which is super cool. But also just a very, very funny guest. Especially, I would not have guessed she's not a comedian. She's so damn funny. Um, we get into her trans milestones, as she puts them, and they are very raunchy and very funny, and I laughed really hard during this episode. I was so happy to have her. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and have a great week. I love you, Bottom Nation. Bottom Nation! I love you. I love trans milestones talks. The trans milestones are so important. The biggest trans milestone for me so far was when I went home to the guys I grew up with. I caught four of them looking at my boobs. <laughs> in a row. Each one walked in. They said hi to me. They looked at my tits and then they moved on. Like, yes. I, like, like one by one. And I was like, okay, it's official. I'm officially a woman now. Yeah, like, you're it's, a woman. It's, we're done. We're done. Can I can I say transition complete, please? Like my my the, the best friends that I grew up with just looked at my titties. <laughs> You know what? Speaking of infrastructure crumbling, I got an email from Con Ed today that said, expect a high bill. Wow, how nice <laughs> of them. Some, something, something's happening that's making the electricity go up. I haven't read about it yet. But the, how? what the audacity to send me a f-ing trigger warning for my own trigger electric warning. bill. They're just like, just so you know, we know this sucks, uh, but we're still going to demand that you pay us this. <laughs> you open it. It's like trigger warning, high bill, and then you open it up and it's just like trans slurs. Like, like, like why Why would they do that? I, don't, I was trying to think of like something horrible that you would. And then I was like, anything that I say right now is requires a trigger, <laughs> trigger warning. And I didn't give one. And so. So anyway, <laughs> nice to meet you, Angel. So glad that you're here. Nice to meet y'all too. It's yeah. actually Kate's birthday today. Or yesterday, yesterday it was Kate's yeah. birthday. So happy birthday, Kate. Thank you. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. Went birding. Yeah, very uh, dad. I got the messages from the, from the from the kudos board and the gift from the Discord. Thank you so much, everyone. It was really, really sweet. Everyone loves Kate. Everyone loves Kate's laugh. <laughs> why? Why? What? You <laughs> seem like you seem like you were mad. You were like, everyone loves Kate. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone loves. Okay, let I'm me just teasing, no. I'm let me take teasing. another take. No, I'll take another take. Take Ashley. Sincerity. Take two. Take two. <laughs> um. Everyone. <laughs> everyone like loves Kate. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> No, but everyone it's like does everyone love loves you. me in the way that everyone loves Raymond, you know? <laughs> and everyone hates me in the way everyone hates Joe Chris? Biden. Chris. <laughs> yeah, Chris. <laughs> but we have a one we're in the apartment, we're having gay sex. Yes. We have a really wonderful guest today. Yes, I am so excited. Yeah, Kate's suggestion, Lister's suggestion, one of our first athletes, if not our first like pro athlete, Olympic level coach. Do I have that right? Um, actually, well, not Olympic level coach. I do coach Olympic weightlifting. It's the common misconception. So like, oh. I'm not an Olympic level coach, but the sport of Olympic weightlifting is an Olympic sport. Cool. cool, cool. I'm yeah. just going to so, call like... you an Olympian and take whatever heat <laughs> comes along I with that. I feel like there's like, there's some like stolen valor in there somewhere. I feel like somebody's <laughs> going to come out and slap me at some point. Like, 
They're gonna come out and be like, "Where's your where, where's your tattoo? Where's your tattoo? I want to see the rings right now. Show me the rings." <laughs> I mean, I so I watch I watch your episode of Queer Eye, and there's clips of you lifting in it, and it's a, amazing. Yeah, like, very astonishing. <laughs> powerful person, powerful episode. Yeah. Highly suggested. Yes, Angel Flores, everybody. Woo! Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I, I really am very, it's always great to have like different backgrounds of people on the pod and we haven't really had athletes. And mm. so that's like just very exciting to break into this world. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm, 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 cause I'm, I'm just, I, you know, just, just me, just an athlete. It's all I do. It's just athletics, like nothing else. It's just, <laughs> I, I like, I like sitting and talking about all the athlete things that I do in my life. So. <laughs> but I do when I was like reading about you. Okay, fine. I'll never mention it again. No, I'll never mention well, it I again. Well, th I think par part of the reason Ashley's excited is I I am a former athlete myself. So oftentimes, no, it's true. I'm just kind of talking about sports, and Ashley's like, well, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really do feel like a little bottom bitch when you start going off about sports. <laughs> And I, I'm like, <laughs> obviously theater kid angel. Like I have no fucking idea. Um, but, but it was very cool when I was reading about like your gym, the liberation, did, am I saying that right? Liberation Barbell Club. Did I get that right? Yep. That's the one. That when is I was one. reading about it, I was just like, what an amazing, there should just be more queer spaces like that because gyms are just like difficult enough just as a cis woman, you know, and like you get hit yeah. on all the time. And so it's just like very nice to have like a, a safe space like that to, and with your body, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's the, I think the big biggest piece about it. it makes so much sense that you'd want to be in that type of environment yeah no absolutely it's it's like there's there's no trading it for anything i mean there i've had more fun just walking in the door there than i have in the hours that i've spent at nearly any other gym i've ever been to so and like as a plus like i feel like a lot of cis women are much more com comfortable with lesbians hitting the, hitting on them at the gym as opposed to cis straight men hitting, hitting <laughs> thank on them you at for the gym, saying so. that because they keep kicking <laughs> me out of the gym <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. This is way less threatening than it could be. <laughs> yes, Angel, thank you. Tell them why it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, as, as a rule, I feel like we, should, we shouldn't be, you know, trying to pick up girls at the gym. But, oh. you know, at least we're pretty. You know, <laughs> like, I, I feel like if, I'm, if I have a man coming up to me, it's going to be like, okay you're you're sweaty you smell like you haven't put on deodorant for like three days like what <laughs> are you doing right now <laughs> you know a listener recently wrote on the discord that they were working out and at the gym uh, lifting and this like just you know cishet guy came over mm. uh, to them and they were so excited because they just had a conversation about the equipment and like their form i'm not going to pretend to know what i'm talking about because i <laughs> literally cannot i'm so weak i'm truly i go to pt i have like a joint issue angel and so i go to pt and i like get acupuncture and i do massage and literally people cannot not tell me how weak i am every time they touch me they're like wow you're you're so weak this you're so you're so lean that your one big muscle is from it, fucking girls it, it is my I, my I am very proud of my forearm <laughs> it's like bigger than your thigh it's bigger than my thigh for sure jesus fucking Christ. angel's like oh no <laughs> welcome to the podcast angel's like let me go drink some of that water without boiling <laughs> i gotta get out of here <laughs> i don't know if that'll make it into the final cut but angel angel's a little under the weather right now because america's crumbling mm -hmm. and i uh, had to boil water to drink it <laughs> jesus christ where do we live it's it's just like why are we not you know fixing energy systems and yeah. protecting them against you know natural things like the cold and why are we banning kids from playing sports with their friends like there's it's like where, why are we sending money to the wrong thing at the current yes. moment there's a giant <laughs> giant uh you've got to get your priorities straight moment or get, your, get priorities your priorities gay, gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great synchronicity can you imagine that, that, that scene in, in harry files. potter when hermione's like you've got to get your priorities straight and then ron and harry just start sucking each other off <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, Angel, we're deviants, uh, if you haven't figured that out. Um, I think let's get into it. I have like a few things to say. Um, also, if you're if you're listening for the first time, this is a conversational podcast. Quit getting mad at me for interrupting each other, okay? We're friends. We're all friends here. We do a little spiel at the beginning where we actively encourage one another to riff off each other's jokes, you piece of shit. <laughs> also, you pe- oh, we didn't do intros. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got to do intros. All right. Oh, I don't have a... Sp- I'm going to try and do a weightlifting one. Nice. Okay. I Hello. Hello. I am Ashley Gavin. Welcome to We're Having Gay Sex, a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You've never said it like that I've before. I've never said it like that before. <laughs> and that's what... A- We're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. Thanks for being here. I have a massive tour going on. Just go to my fucking website. I can't handle it anymore. Florida, Florida. That's the big one right now. I don't know if they'll still be on sale by the time this comes out. <laughs> um, I'm a cis gay white woman. She, her pronouns. And then as always, the cancel coach to keep me from getting canceled. Fat in the <laughs> chat. This power lifter, the power comes from their inside balls. Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> is that is that what you think that powerlifters lift with their balls? No, but I'm trying to make it like <laughs> I'm trying to make it like a gender queer thing. <laughs> I know, but it's just so funny. Fine, let's do it. Let's do a different one. Um, um, powerlifting. Lift- give me some. Give me some lingo, Angel. I don't know the words. Um, barbells, dumbbells. Like, yeah, there's plenty of ball jokes to make. I mean, yeah. you, you can't you can't stop with a ball joke. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, technically, you're the the you lift weights here with your balls is probably a really accurate summation according to the you. men from like 50 years ago. Like, <laughs> oh, damn it, <laughs> <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe if maybe if you ask a couple men who played sports and I don't know, like the 1920s, they'd agree. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, football had like leather helmets. Yes, yes. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like me playing football with a leather helmet is my like gender euphoria but like full, just like an idiot just like it's a just, fucking moron you show up to like the first year of the nfl and they're like are you amelia Earhart?" <laughs> <laughs> i'm amelia air fart ayo oh um okay i don't know what's wrong with me today I- i'll do this again i've done a joke like this <laughs> we don't know when those barbells are gonna drop, <laughs> Kate Sis. Hey everybody, it's me, Kate Sis, the cancel coach, the fat in the chat. Uh, great news, everyone! I'm back over 200 pounds. Woo! <laughs> um, I hadn't been keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't either, but I went to the doctor's office. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're still coming up on that colonoscopy. We're on the seven day countdown to that. So uh, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me at the cases for my colonoscopy journey. Uh... <laughs> oh my God. What are we gonna find in there? <laughs> um, let's see. What, when is this gonna come out? I don't know. All right. Um, oh, what, shows. Oh. But but for your shows, yeah, you, you post them on your Instagram. Yes, for my shows, I post them on my Instagram. We've got a big one coming up February twenty third. Um, oh, JFL. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I've got that too. I'm just I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a, a white bisexual lesbian dyke. Uh, any pronouns, gender nonconforming. My gender of the week, as submitted by the listeners, is somebody's dad named Brian. The guy with the bad knee who coaches the kids' baseball That's team. That's perfect. And that is dead on. <laughs> I like that you just had it on your phone and then you immediately deleted it. Well, because I'm, I used... You gotta used, keep track. I, yes, that's how I keep track. Because yeah. one time I did that chocolate bar one twice. It was worth doing twice. It was really good, but, but, <laughs> people, but were the mad. people were they mad. They were mad. <laughs> they get mad about a lot of things. <laughs> Angel, do you mind introducing yourself in whatever you can remember from what we just did. Hello, my name is Angel Flores. I go by Archangel. Um, I, I'm an athlete, an activist, and I lift weights with my balls, according to a lot of men in the world. So <laughs> I like, no joke, no joke. I had somebody come into one of my videos and like leave a comment down below. They were like, hi, um, I don't mean to be controversial. <laughs> like, like, great start. And yes, you do. You absolutely do. <laughs> and then, then, then he types, like, he, like, space, 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 space. Is that your penis? 
are, are you sure it doesn't give you like a natural advantage? And I was like, my dick's in this video? Like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, when did I post my dick on the timeline? Like, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what were they looking at? That they're, that's the thing about people who are so obsessed <laughs> with like the sexuality, gender, body parts of like queer people. They'll look for any, there was probably just like, you were probably <gasps> cooking a zucchini and they were like, that's, <laughs> that's angel stick. <laughs> Want to hear an insane story along these lines? Is my dad's soccer team in like, whatever, the, the 70s or the 80s was in the newspaper and my grandmother saw the newspaper and was like oh my god you can see jimmy's penis and my dad was like what and the angle that like this guy jimmy was at or whatever was he was running and there was a guy further across the field uh, his hand. whose hand yeah. was like in a fist and <laughs> it was like an optical illusion it really looked like jimmy's <laughs> penis was like down below his knee <laughs> just flopping in the wind and we want to see it so bad <laughs> <laughs> your your grandma grandmother was like, I Jimmy's gotta see talk. Jimmy's dick. <laughs> Cause we're sick in the like, head. These people will literally like these people will go to videos and the videos will be covered in text. It'll be like a video about something else entirely, and then they'll just sit there and be like, okay, but one second of this video has a body yeah. part that I don't think you should have. Oh my god! So yeah. you have to explain that entire thing to me right now. And it's like, why? <laughs> why are you doing this? Did you not read everything else? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. And then like when and yet when John Ham's massive dick was in that. Did you see that tab tabloid? Whenever I think like no, seeing what? a dick, I think of the John Ham photo. I don't know if you guys. Alex is Alex nodding. Is nodding. No. It's <laughs> To be perfectly honest, as someone who just really doesn't appreciate a penis in uh, most of the time, I <laughs> once in a while. Like, so well, this John well, Ham has one, imprinted this, in your brain. So this John Ham one, like his dick print, it is exceptional. <laughs> it is like wow. I didn't know they could be photographed so well. And is he naked? I don't, it's no, just, it's just. It's just through his pants. Oh, for a commercial? No, not uh, oh. no for a commercial. Oh. <laughs> John Ham's dick. Call now. One eight hundred Ham Dick. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine plus shipping and handling. <laughs> What's handling, by the way? I don't know. Which is shipping? I get. What is you Jerry don't see Seinfeld, that anymore? Nineteen ninety five. Stop. <laughs> 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 what's the angel, deal with angel, handling angel's a phenomenal guest <laughs> i know you're I funny know. Angel. you are <laughs> i'm just trying my best i'm just trying my best i was actually about to say like if we're talking about like celebrities and like unintentional sexual shit i'm like have y'all seen the new Kristen bell show on netflix the the woman across the street from the girl <gasps> in the window not yet but i'm excited oh too. my god i don't so, even know what this is yeah it's like um like a, like a, a, a book series where it's like somebody witnesses a crime from like far away it's basically a riff on that yeah. yes but yeah. it like sometimes it takes itself too seriously and other times it doesn't and you get like halfway through and you're like okay cool mysteries Kristen bell's being cute oh it's kind of like this is so cute and shit and then all of a sudden the most raunchy straight sex scene <laughs> ever and it's like like 10 minutes 10 minutes of Kristen bell <laughs> Like fucking this guy, like he, they're on the stairs, they're okay, like on I the kitchen watch. counter, they're like, and it's full on. I'm me and me and Kathy were sitting here, and we were like, where I'm, where I'm so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> and we just so watched funny. like four episodes of Kristen Bell being super cute. Like I'm gonna solve this murder, and then all of a sudden she's just like, oh, we're we're butt ass naked on the staircase. Let's get going, like. <laughs> I love how that's the project that Kristen Bell was like, I'm going to do an all out naked sex scene for this. I know she's so wholesome. Like her brand is sort of wholesome. I wonder if she did it. I mean, they got to sell the show somehow, honestly. She was she was Sarah Marshall, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there was a, oh, a that's dick true, sucking that's scene. True. In that one. God, I she's so funny. She's so funny. I love how funny she is. <laughs> she does podcasts. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like. Trying to figure out how I can rail Kristen Bell in a hallway. Oh my god! I thought you were gonna say you're trying to figure out how to get Kristen Bell on the podcast. Yes. Oh, it, I see. That's one leads to the other. One A B C. 
So um, I didn't sign these papers. Where, where's this contract at? <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, Angel, I'm going to rail you in a hallway at the end. <laughs> She's like, thank God I'm on Zoom. <laughs> no, that doesn't excuse what her. What state am I in? <laughs> find a hallway. <laughs> and what are you working on right now? Like, where can people find you? Like, what's your... Oh, there's like a whole bunch of crap. Um, you can find me out. My my biggest thing is my Instagram at Archangel Joy. Um, my Twitter is Archangel.athlete and my website is Archangel.squarespace.com. And right now I am working on so many, many things. <laughs> um, <laughs> but to keep up with everything, you can just follow my Instagram and that's the easiest thing. Yeah, go, go, awesome. go follow her. Follow everyone that you see here. It's the best way to keep up with everyone's work. All right, let's get into it. Yeah. I I did have gay sex. I, I I don't know. I don't. We did it, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that mom again. She was in town, so. Did you call her mommy? No, I didn't call her mommy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of did last time, and I just was I don't know. And then last night I last time you you asked her can. I... Can I call you mommy? And she was like, yeah. And then, you, and then, and I then didn't. you didn't. I just left it there. So you have a, you, the ball's <laughs> in your court. You have a, a, a standing invitation to, to call, call her, her mommy. mommy. And I just haven't done it. Cause I'm a little at bitch. any point in time too. So you can be sitting at a cafe, getting a nice decent coffee. And all of a sudden just throw it out there. Like, Oh, mommy. <laughs> I just call her up. I'm like, mommy. And then hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> like mommy might tell me her <laughs> she's like i haven't seen you in four months <laughs> you did not text me back the last time she, you know what she's... mommy i'm sorry i ghosted you <laughs> so just to give you some <laughs> some i i actually oh my actual mommy that that message that is I true i haven't that talked to my true. mom in a while um i she really wants your approval kate for some reason i approve what i don't know where it came from but she really wants you to like her have I met her? No. Oh, well, Give I'm her happy to meet her. Approve I approve. Of my mommy. Uh, Your mommy? The mommy girl. Mommy. Not my mommy. I don't yeah. need to talk about my mommy today. <laughs> I don't even feel comfortable. I don't think I, even as a child, I called my mom mommy. Mm. It was always mom. I approve. I thought it was the same way. Definitely not a mommy house. Definitely a mom house. Yeah. De yeah. We said mom. I think maybe, well, when I was like making words for the first time, I think it was mama and dada. Well, but that's yeah, like... of course. <laughs> I wasn't like, mother, I will not be calling you mommy. <laughs> mother, may I suck upon your teeth for nourishment? <laughs> <laughs> and then perhaps mother, some crushed cut the asparagus. Cord, cut the cord. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to separate. Oh my gosh. Okay. So for a lot of, a lot of, um, you're the, off the rails. I know. Today. I'm sorry. Very quickly. A lot of notes on the kudos board were like, happy womb emancipation day. And I was like, do these people think I got like a hysterectomy? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized it was emancipation from my mother's womb. And I was like, wow, that's a doozy. Anyway. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't catch that immediately. That's how I would just love to sit on, on your session. <laughs> with my therapist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I told her about that time that I called my vagina snake pit. And she said, yeah, we're going to have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I honestly, can I send mommy. notes? I no. This is what Kate said on the podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> also, I said, mommy, can we talk about this? I approve of mommy girl. Thank you. And that's what I'm going to call her. Okay, so I have another <laughs> cleaning service related story. I've only, Angel, oh, I'm so self-conscious about lonely. this. No, was no. Was that the last felt, story we Yeah, told? that was the last story. Yeah. Angel, I'm, I've been very busy, and so my apartment just gets dirtier and dirtier, and I was like, fuck it. Like, I feel so guilty doing this, but I just like, just call a cleaning service. Just do it. Focus on your work. Just do it. It's okay. Yeah. So I decided, okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to call a cleaning service. I'm going to have my apartment cleaned. And I hired one. I think it was for Tuesday. I don't remember. I think it was 2 p.m. And I didn't know this, <laughs> oh, no. but the cleaning service had been texting me oh. being like, hey, can we come earlier? Oh. But I didn't know this because I was having sex. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. no. So that is not good. Definitely yeah. not good at all. I'm, and to be clear, this sex was so good. It like knocked me out for two days. Like I was so I took a two hour nap. Like I was just like it was like fucking there was music. There was music. We had music on, which I never not have. The music. And it was just like, I don't know, man. I 
my arm, like my <laughs> arm started tiring during this. You know, my leg arm, my leg arm. <laughs> My arm started tiring during it, and I was like, I don't think I can keep going. And she she was like, she made she you? She made me, this girl. She was like, do not stop. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to be a little bitch. And I don't know how I powered through, but, like, that's the type of sex we were having. Okay. And at some point, I heard this very light tapping. And I was like, is that the door? <laughs> That couldn't possibly be the door. <laughs> it's like 1 p.m. <laughs> oh, no. So, and apparently, we both independently in our own minds <laughs> resolved that this was a distant hammering. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You guys were totally sex-brained. You were yeah. just like, nope, nothing could possibly stop this from proceeding. It's construction next door. <laughs> Right, but you know how that is. Like you're just. I mean, y'all, y'all were probably y'all were probably sitting there thinking about like I can't focus on the distant hammering when the hammering that needs to happen is right here. Like, <laughs> correct. And so we just like continued. It was like multiple orgasms. It was just great. It was really good sex. And then I hear the tapping again. Oh no! And I'm like. Well, at this point, this person is just there the whole time. <laughs> if it is the unthinkable situation of it being the person from the cleaning service who's now been here for half an hour, the damage is done. So I might as well just finish. Oh my God, Ashley. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no. What do you do? No, what no, are you no, no. Answer the door and be like, I apologize for sexually assaulting you today. Don't be fucking rude. Well, the thing is. I didn't, she showed up early. I know, I know, I know. It's your own risk to show up anywhere early. <laughs> risk of mid midday hours long fuck session. <laughs> Angel, have you ever walked in on anyone? Well, actually. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'll, 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 I'll leave names out. But essentially, I think it was back in like high school that we were we were so we were so plastered. We were so plastered. And so we're like upstairs sitting in like this master bedroom of somebody's house. And then like it's like a group of like four or five of us. We go into their bathroom and this family's like kind of on the nicer side. So they have a basket of soap on the counter. And so there's these like this this group of four drunk people just passing around the soap. Each teacher was taking like a long like, like whiff of oh, it. Rich soap. I love rich soap. <laughs> Honestly, who doesn't though? If you go They're into a fancy like little seashells, little seashells and roses and shit. If you go into a fancy bathroom, you're gonna smell the soap. You're gonna touch all of that soap. So the the worst part is that nobody realized that there were four or five of us in this master bathroom. So when we hurdle the door open and all five of us burst through, there is one of the couples from the party just starting to go at it on the in the master bedroom on the master bed. And it's like five of us standing in the room like, oh, my God. (laughs) 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 The funniest part is that I look I look behind me. And one of the girls had grabbed like five soaps and was running out with like all of them in her. <laughs> it was she's like a was perfect a crazy distraction. Walking in scenario. She's like, I'm gonna loot the soaps. <laughs> no soap left behind. No soap left behind. <laughs> all soaps matter. And oh she my got God, Ashley. Oh, that's a yellow card, Ashley. Why is that a yellow card? Because. That is clearly a satire. <laughs> Anyway, no. This is this is a comedy podcast. Remember, this is comedy. <laughs> Angel gets it. Um, thank you. Some whatever. So we're just really banging. The tapping happens again, and I truly Tap, though tapping. I did You're not. Banging, she's it, banging. It was You're such tapping, a light she's tapping. It was such a light tap. Yeah, that I truly was like. It is the pop like sometimes the train will go by and my coffee table would shake. That's just genuinely what I thought it was the first time. Right, and you were rocking the bed, so it's and reasonable. You, that the right, exactly. <laughs> so I, to, I'm like, I'm saying this story in retrospect, <laughs> and I do have regrets. But at the time, I, 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 I genuinely was like, I don't know what this is. Anyway, so I walk the girl to the elevator because I am. I always there was walk, no one when you opened the door. No one when I opened the door. And then we walk into the hallway, we turn the corner, me and the girl that I were both like, 
<laughs> okay, have a nice day. I'm panning off your crotch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're fully naked. And no, no. I So I walk her to the elevator. And as we turn the corner, I see like a person with a backpack and like cleaning supplies. Oh. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I know that she was there because she could not make eye contact with me i mean the full threesome of us were there we were all looking at each other you were like was that as good for you as it was for us (laughs) and then at that point you have to make the decision you're like do i pretend to not know or do i acknowledge that so what did you say i just fully was like i'm just gonna pray that it was a coincidence that she just <laughs> arrived, that she was not tapping oh, no. while I was railing oh, no. and heard the sex music. I'm just oh, going to pray, 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 pray. <laughs> Cross my fingers. I'm like, I'm look at the girl. I'm like, okay, bye. And I walk back into my apartment and uh, I go to the bathroom and I hear the tapping again. And you're and like, confirmed. Confirmed. Oh, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the door and I was like, oh, <laughs> just the worst <laughs> acting of your life. Oh, my goodness. I was so, <laughs> I am shocked. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. This is truly like, I think the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life. And I was just like, were you waiting very long? And she like, we're basically both laughing at this point. (laughs) And we're just like, what is the polite thing to do? Because I don't think the polite thing to do is to be like, yeah, I was fucking. (laughs) So basically, I just offered her everything in my fucking house and gave her the biggest tip. I like paid double. I I was just like, that's the kindest thing I can do, right? What what would you fucking do? I would not be I would not be in a situation where I was Don't. fucking before my cleaning apartment cleaning appointment. <laughs> See, I feel like I would definitely aim to fuck after the cleaning appointment. Like yes. I feel like the cleaning has to happen first. No. But then again, like like if if you truly need it and like you have her walk in and you're like okay like spend a little extra time in the bedroom for me, please. It's like a mess in there right <laughs> now. I'm so I'm, sorry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's you gotta <laughs> dirty up the apartment before the appointment. Why you have the appointment? You gotta. <laughs> The part of it that's funny is that it's a studio so she could be like totally cleaning your kitchen and be like, it smells like pussy in here. Okay, <laughs> listen. We were clean. We were showered. <laughs> we were clean. I'm not saying stinky pussy. I'm just saying pussy. Delicious, delicious <laughs> pussy. <laughs> she, she's like, it really smells like delightfully good sex in here. <laughs> <laughs> smells like you both came what? Four and a half times? <laughs> <laughs> I would like, for the listener, I would like to reiterate that she was an hour early and I didn't know that I was going to be having sex at that time. I truly did not think that we would be having sex at that time. I thought she was going to be out of my apartment by then. It was very... So this was like the morning after? Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. I didn't think she'd be staying that long. Got it. We never do. Never, ever do. (laughs) When will lesbians learn? I know. My track record is like not good. I don't know why I'm not going off the data and instead trying to pull in some other like subjective. Okay, we See, have like, to... I'm I'm so I'm so screwed if if me and Guppy ever break up, like I'm gonna re answer the dating pool and I have no clue what to do. Like it's gonna be a whole mess. It's hard, it's hard. So you're I d I didn't know this. Are you you're you're dating? Like, well, let's get to you. Orlando, Tampa, West Palm Beach. Miami, Nashville, Atlanta, Sacramento, San Francisco. I can't even. I'm coming to Milwaukee. I, I can't even do them all. AshleyGavin.com. Do not miss an announcement. I will text you first. I will email you first. And then I will never email you for the rest of the year. AshleyGavin.com. And there's no ad. This is an ad for my stuff. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Get comps. Get bonus content. Support Kate. Support Alex. Support me. I got to get out of this studio apartment, guys. Uh, Angel, did you have gay sex this week? No, I didn't. However, I do have a nice gay sex related story that, that might might get some laughs. So I'm I it, like early on in my transition, probably like six months in. Um, so every every so often the guys I grew up with will have like a 
hour long conversation in the group chat where they once again go over all their spoils for the month as, <laughs> as, as men do. Um, so, so as, as everybody talking about, they're, they're wonderful. I'm like, yeah, like you might as well add you in, right? My, like it's going to be a fun day. <laughs> so what happens is they're all talking about how, oh my God, like I made this girl come like X amount of times. Oh my God, I did this, I did this. And I was like, well, yep, that's me, men, funny story. <laughs> I'm six months in a transition and I can now orgasm multiple times. Are you serious? <laughs> to to see this group chat, this group chat of seven straight cis men, like I, I, I could feel them jump out of their seats as soon as I sent the text. Because it was just instant like, what? What what do you mean you can orgasm multiple times? Do you and think it yes, was do you think it was yes, like ladies. shock or like like excitement? Because for I feel like <laughs> I put that in. I have a small guys group chat. It's not. It's Neil Rubenstein, Justin Herman, and Bennett Hoffman. <laughs> it's not like a good. No one knows who these guys are. It's not a good guys. Honestly, we just screenshot times where sixty nine comes up on like a screen and we just send it to each other. That's mostly <laughs> what this group chat I have, is. With the obligatory I have... like nice exclamation point like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have a clogged toilet group chat where there's no pictures involved, but we just text each other when we've clogged the toilet. <laughs> As I'm saying that, I just farted from laughing. <laughs> no, it's your birthday. So it's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Should we get the cleaning service back? Should I bring them in right now? <laughs> She comes and she's like, it smells like a man fart in here. I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> wow, gender um, euphoria at its finest. <laughs> that would gender be euphoria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was really good. But I feel like if they're freaking out, are they like, bro, bro, you can come multiple times, bro? Like, is it like excitement or is it exactly, like... No, that is exactly how it is. Okay. <laughs> I've never had this group of men be so excited for me in my transition before. And the moment they heard that, they were like, what? Oh, I'm always sweet. I'm always blown away. So yeah, I, I'm always blown away by transition stories when because we don't get a lot of there's not a lot of in between talk about transition. There's like just like a lot of results talk. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And so I love hearing about these moments in transitions where you're like, oh my God, today I got this one. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> like new gender badge acquired or like like <laughs> new skill unlocked, like a video game. Like it's so cool to me. <laughs> I don't know funny. if what I'm saying is horrible. Oh my That's God. a funny way to like, think of it. I, I see a lot of people being like, oh, you know, f five years on, on T or whatever. Yes. And there's there there isn't as... I, I've been grateful to find recently some people being like, oh, I'm in the middle of this. I'm figuring it all out. And yes. here's it, it's weird and it's crazy. And it's yeah. so it's so I love this story. Of being like, Hey, learn something new about myself. <laughs> I love trans milestones talks like like the, the trans milestones are so important. I think. Oh, God, I hope they don't they don't listen to this podcast. But I, I, <laughs> I think the biggest the, the 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 biggest trans milestone for me so far was when I went home to see that same group of guys and I caught mm. four of them looking at my boobs in an in an order <laughs> yeah! like in a row in a row yeah! I like 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 as they walk like each one walked in they said hi to me they looked at my tits and then they moved on like yes. I, like like one by one and I was like okay it's official I'm officially a fucking woman now yeah, like you're it's, a woman. It's, we're done. <laughs> We're done. Can I can I say transition complete, please? Like my my the, the best friends that I grew up with just looked at my titties. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts from laughing. That's so funny. That's so funny. Walk so, in, obligatory titty look. Moving on. I mean, I do it. I try. I try not to, obviously, but sometimes. Some and you try to be polite. You're like, oh man, and then you, you know what? It, oh, shucks. I, I didn't oh, mean, golly gee you willikers like <laughs> tell me you haven't looked at come on it happens it I, sometimes it's by accident <laughs> you've never done it what do you mean you've never glanced by accident and been at like titties or actually yeah. i feel i feel like when i see people from far away and you can see everything at the same time i'm like hot but I don't think I've ever been close to someone and like looked down. No, 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 no. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like you're just like having coffee or something. <laughs> I'm Alex. We might have to cut this. I, I, I you're just you're having coffee and 
You don't mean to. But, and it's very fast. It's very fast. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm not saying it happens all the time. I'm not saying I do this to every pair of tits out in the wild. <laughs> out in the wild. But sometimes they're just... They're... Alex, please. Alex. <laughs> He's like, I will not. <laughs> You're drowning. He just puts his foot on top of your head and pushes you under the water. <laughs> He's like, I've never seen boobs in my life. <laughs> he's like, he's scar mufasa you. <laughs> to get trampled by a stampede of breasts. Let, I'm beat red. I, we have to move on from this conversation. My, my trick is that if, if I if I have to take an obligatory glance, I just go ahead and just do a full worship session. Like stop the girl and be like, oh my God, girl, like your titties look so amazing. Look, I look could at them. Never. They look so amazing. <laughs> Are you doing no? Can you imagine if That's I did a- that? Girl, your titties look so amazing right now. <laughs> They'd be like, what a weird prank show. What a weird prank show. <laughs> They're like looking Angel- for the cameras. Angel pulls it off. Angel pulls it off. Right. I, I bought I into it. When you were acting it out just then, I bought into it. I- Sometimes you can do like an outfit, like to like, cause you're so embarrassed. But truly, I just like, I'm like, oh my gosh, that dress really accentuates your, your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I you don't. You gotta say it as a joke. You gotta be like, hey, nice milkers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone listening to think that this happens to me all the time. But in my life, in my life, over the course of my 34 years on this planet, mm-hmm. have I accidentally glanced at tits? Yes, of course. And I just try to move on as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. I'm not, so I'm not trying to be, I think I do, I think it's the proximity. Like I've been across yes. the room unabashedly staring at my Spanish teacher's tits. Okay. Like <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm good at not, I'm, I'm good at not unabashedly staring. But, but, but I it guess just I'm... looks like you're looking at the whole person because you're from across the room. Sure. But I've never been in front of someone. <laughs> We're spending a long time on this. And we I can feel, move on. We I can move feel on. that we need, because I have a question for Angel. Yes, yes. And Angel's like, did, did I literally just come onto this podcast to hear these two bros <laughs> talk about staring at tits? What is this? Oh, well, it's just the guys group chat all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you like what that time that you had the multiple orgasms that had to have been like very startling at least because even you know what I mean like how did you know that it would be that time like what led up to that that you were like I think I can go again well I don't think it was as much like going again as if it it, it was just like one right after the other and like oh. with estrogen too like how you feel orgasms changes as well like it goes from being kind of like a like a, like a very contained experience, like a full body experience within a few mm. months, honestly. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, mm. But essentially, like, you're just in the middle of it. And, you know, you finish, like, what you think is the the, the only time. And then yeah. all of a sudden, it's like, wait a sec. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fu-. and like, for me, it's like the second one plus is always like better. So yeah. now it's like, like, if we're just like, wait, like, if we're like 40 minutes in and I still haven't come yet. Like my girlfriend, I, like, I have to look at her and be like, I'm so sorry. This is going to be a lot longer than you wanted it to be. <laughs> That's what I say to the women that when they catch me staring at their tits. I say, I'm so sorry. This is, so is going to be a lot longer than, than you wanted also, it to be. Also, you too, I, I, I want to be clear. I'm, I'm not masturbating under the camera. My dog is in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> what a cutie. What's your dog yeah, She's tiny. Uh, this is Lolly. She's Aww. nine years old. She's a little puppy. I a little nine year old puppy. <laughs> what a cutie. I didn't think you were masturbating. I did, I did I, not think so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. But I appreciate seeing the dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long have you been with your partner? Um, we've been together, it'll be two and a half years in a couple months. Three years, actually. Sorry. Three years. Cool. Her name's Katya. Okay, great. Um, when you guys started dating, like, is she, because I imagine if my partner were transitioning and we were discovering multiple orgasms, mm. I, I would then be on a quest <laughs> to like, <laughs> to collect your badges, to collect my badges. <laughs> Like squirting. Like, I don't know what the, you know what I mean? Like, or like, I don't even fucking know. I'd be like just trying to create experiences, nip more nipple play. Like, oh, can you come from this now? Like, I'd be just trying to like do every, you know what I mean? Like, is it exciting no, 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 for I, her? I, I hear you. No, I completely hear you. I think that seeing her, her brain switch from like 
being the bottom to the top was really, really, really like a, a huge switch for me. Like, I think that it was about like, honestly, I hadn't even started the hormones yet. And I could already see her brain kind of like switch into like being more like a dominant person in a relationship and, and in bed. So really, I can see in her eyes when it just like switches on and I'm like, oh, I can just lay. I'm, I'm just going to sit here and you can just do whatever. <laughs> like, it's fine. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. But I know what yeah. you want right now. <laughs> I, as a partner, it's been a really, really awesome experience to have somebody who's like genuinely curious about like what the changes are and like yeah. is genuinely curious about like not only physically how we can affect each other, but also emotionally how that changed and how my, mm-hmm. sen- how my other senses have changed as well. That's that's beautiful. It's nice to be supported like that. That's yes. Nice. I think a lot of people are worried about how their partner will react to yeah. transitioning. Mm. So it's like great to hear like positive stories, you know? It's like you see in those like really shitty romantic comedies where like there's an old couple and the old couple always looks looks at the new at the, the younger couple and they're like oh for for 90 years i've just been finding new things about her every single day and i just fall in love with her a little bit more every day so i think me and kathy are just bad on steroids because <laughs> she literally just fell in love with a completely new person all over again yeah <laughs> yeah that's beautiful that's it, really cool yeah it, it's it's been really really awesome and also to have other couples too come out and be like yo like we're just like you. Like, I didn't know other couples like us existed. I didn't know that this actually works. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you for that. sharing. And thank yeah. you for being so open. I know yeah. it's not for everyone to be quite op- as open as that. So I, re- I really appreciate it. Yeah. And people love to hear. People love to hear that. It's my day to day stuff. Like for, for me, all this, all, all of this is just normal and like it's stuff that I deal with on a daily basis so like yeah why would I need to sit here and feel uncomfortable and and try and hide things that I don't need to you know yeah I love that and it is normal yeah it's all normal (laughs) like it's not just normal for you it's normal it's like the normal for a lot a lot of people yeah so I know what we're doing is not we shouldn't win like a Nobel prize (laughs) but also it's I think helpful for some people (laughs) to give me a Nobel prize yeah, I'll take my Nobel Prize on gay sex, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that was wonderful. We're going to go to Kate. Uh, Kate, did you have gay sex this week? Okay, I did, but disappointingly, not during the three days when Chelsea and I have an age gap. <laughs> You're the same age? Yeah, she's three days older than me. And you get pissed every year? <laughs> Like, you better fuck me when you're one year older than me, you old MILF. When I was dating Jen, that was my least favorite period of time. The, like, 17 days between our birthdays where we had an extra year between us. I was so neurotic. I was constantly like, no, it's eight years. It's not nine. It's eight. (laughs) It's eight. (sighs) It was fun, though. That period is where you pull out the mommy and daddy for like the, the brief period of time that you can, like <laughs> hit him with the oh you dirty cougar. <laughs> we have three days. Let's make this work. Um, yeah, we we always celebrate our birthday because they really are like three days apart, and we're not that into Valentine's Day. So this week in February is always like a little holiday for us. It's instead so of hard Valentine's to have Day. a birthday around a holiday, especially Valentine's Day. You think so? Yes, because Valentine's. I used to date a girl whose birthday was like, I think it was the day after Valentine's Day. Me too. Did you date? Bleep this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Insert every lesbian dates every other lesbian joke in here. <laughs> 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 the six degrees of uh separation of oh, scissoring i literally i literally made a joke in the gay thought i think it might come out on maybe we should put it out on this episode i was like the six degrees of kevin bacon the lesbian version of that should be the two degrees of ashley gavin because <laughs> the lesbian community is so small and i invented this phrase so i want credit <laughs> um Let's see, what was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, so we celebrate our birthday like a holiday, which is pretty fun. This time of year brings up lots of thoughts, right? It's my birthday, so there's lots of thoughts about, like, what is my authentic self and stuff like that. Yeah. Then it's Valentine's Day, which is, like, a memorable romantic date. And so it just made... I've been thinking about my past relationships a lot because I've also been talking about it in therapy. And 
So a girl that I dated at one point, we were like seeing each other and I woke up on my birthday to her being like, I need a break. And I was like, what well, a fucking happy bitch. birthday to me. Oh my what God. Fuck? She couldn't wait 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> what a fuck. Sorry that I called her a bitch. I don't believe in calling women bitches. But Jesus Christ, what a mean thing on to do. On your birthday? On my birthday. And it's a happy she birthday. Didn't know. I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> well, so she was like, I need a week long break. So then, like I said, Valentine's Day comes shortly That's thereafter. That's worse than breaking up with you because at least if, <laughs> if she broke up with you, it well, would just so, be done and then you're in limbo. Well, for a so week? we weren't, it, it's, it was like before we started dating. So we had been like hooking up and seeing each other and hanging out. And then I guess things felt like they were maybe moving too seriously and so on my birthday she's like i need to take a breather for a week and i was like okay so obviously valentine's day unfortunately falls during that week and she gave me a valentine and the valentine was one of those goofy like friend valentines and i was like these mix messages are fucking killing me yeah yeah of course (laughs) and so then after the week she was like do you want to be in an open relationship together and i was like no thank you and she's like okay then let's just be in a closed one <laughs> and Damn. I went with it because I was like so smitten. Um, but Dude. anyway, so that made me think of of another previous relationship, which was I, we talked about about him before. You an rolled ex, around in an dog ex-boyfriend. shit. <laughs> I rolled around in dog <laughs> shit. He was angry that I wasn't ready to give head, and you know, Just we've heard a about series him of really solid people in your life. I would say, yeah, the, I, I would say the 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 ex girlfriend that I was just talking about is actually a really good person, and we had a fine relationship. This guy that was like a bad relationship okay. and I've been talking about it a lot in therapy and I just like kind of realized for the first time like so far after the fact that like being queer like saved my life quite literally like I I was you know I was with him being like yeah we're gonna get married <laughs> like I was way too young to be like having this lot but like yeah we're gonna get married and like I tried multiple times to break up with him and I couldn't like I broke up with him and kept hooking up with him yeah against my better judgment I just like couldn't like it was it was toxic and and manipulative and I just couldn't get myself out of the relationship until my desire to yeah yeah <laughs> live a queer life became so powerful. It's it's almost like I don't know I I may have said this on the podcast sometimes having something so huge like queerness or even like I think about my own depression from a few years ago like if I was not able to rock bottom I don't know that I would have changed the circumstances mm-hmm. of my life and I think. If you're listening, you do not have to hit rock bottom to change <laughs> the circumstances of your life. But I do think queerness, that happens for a lot of people where you're just at a point where you cannot continue to live yeah. the way that you are living and you must Absolutely. make a change. Yeah. So straight yeah, I, it, straight people listen. Oh, sorry. Go on, Angel. No, I was I was just going to say, like, that's, that's completely how it was for me. Like, I sat on my trans identity for a year before I even, like, called for the hormone. Like, I mm-hmm. sat on it for as long as I could because I was like well I don't know like what if, what if this isn't real what if I what if it's just a phase what if yes, I'm not actually yeah. trans and then it came to a point where I was like sitting on the floor literally in my closet crying like like yelling at myself like upset and I'm like why do I feel like shit all the time and it's yeah like, yep. oh yeah. well there's rock bottom like let's let's yep. start building back yeah it's so it's so interesting to to hear you say that now because watching I relate to that so hard and watching your episode i was like oh, I, I, i've never related to another trans person so deeply <laughs> <laughs> it was like really it was a it was like a moment for me to watch your episode so i really appreciate you coming here um well, and like, thank but you. I, thank you for that. yeah yeah i'm so i'm so glad you're here um but i think it's this there's something about i don't i still don't think i'm there with gender yet to be like I, it's time for me to make it take an action yeah yeah um but it's interesting to look back at a moment of beginning my queer life which like was something scary but it saved me from something legitimately dangerous yeah and sad and so looking at this kind of gender moment now it's like i have the opportunity maybe not the ability but i have the opportunity to like save myself again you do have the ability and i just you will bitch (laughs) (laughs) Is this because you don't have balls that you can lift from? <laughs> lift yourself up by your own balls. You Remember, <laughs> lift from your balls, not from your back. <laughs> of course you have the ability. I, just, I, I only said that because, and I think now I'm saying it for you, but I was saying it for the listener. It does not have to reach a point 
Although I have been there myself. It does not have to reach a point of total chaos and <laughs> just absolutely for you to be like, you know what? This could be different and I could be happier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like so many people are just okay with feeling like shit all the time. Yes. And like, you know, it, it's okay to, to try not to feel like shit all the time. You know, like it, it's okay yeah. to like to fight against barriers that are literally making you feel less fulfilled in your day to day life. Like, why are we, if you want to wear a fucking dress, go wear a dress. If you want to put some eyeliner on, go put some eyeliner on. If you want to cut yeah. your hair, go cut your hair. Like, these are all things. And, I, and, I've, and I've been talking a lot about like trying to abolish this fear that we have of like, what if the rest of society rejects us for doing what makes us feel good? Yeah. And I and I want I want to reinforce for everybody that like who the hell fucking cares like ultimately like you're gonna walk out and you're gonna look damn fucking good and everybody that's gonna hate is just jealous and everybody that isn't gonna hate loves you so ultimately yeah. it's only about you yeah it's almost liberating to realize that you're a speck of dust in the universe and your life doesn't <laughs> matter like, absolutely like do whatever the fuck it doesn't even have to be a queer thing like for me it was pursuing comedy was one of those moments for me where I was like oh. That you're who gives a fuck like yeah. who gives a fuck what yeah. anyone thinks of you doing this like right. why why yeah no one cares yeah no one cares you're gonna die you're gonna die <laughs> and none of this will matter so just go <laughs> fucking do it yeah i mean it is you kind future of future dead person well yeah so it's like you're gonna die so you might as well live exactly but it can be exactly. harder 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 said than done of but course. still worth doing does of that course. make is that make encapsulated? Yeah. I, f I feel like. Yeah, yeah. it's like if you like, I it may hurt in the short term, but in the long term, like I would rather die knowing that I did fucking everything I could to make myself as happy as possible, rather than die thinking, oh, well, I kind of was a lazy bitch my whole life, huh? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that so hard. I literally just yanked the earbud out of Ashley's ear because I like jerked back. This is a very profound. Is there more story, or are we just? No, I was just kind of just kind of talking about. It's just like thinking of you know celebrating this like holiday of being. <laughs> like me and Chelsea this are the both gayest shit I've ever fucking and, heard like, in my entire life. We're together, and I just like I you know I wouldn't be with her if I wasn't queer. Yeah, and. Yeah, I just feel I feel grateful that I allowed myself to search for happiness, like yeah. Angel was saying, and I and I hope that I can keep doing that. And I feel grateful that I created the rock bottom for that uh, cleaning uh, service person. <laughs> Maybe now she will realize that she wants to that fuck she like that. She wants to fuck like that, <laughs> and that in me not giving a fuck about her personal space. <laughs> To Maybe. be clear, she was out of your apartment. And she was early. <laughs> <laughs> she was very, very, very early. <laughs> but maybe now she'll go rail someone <laughs> with, with abandon. And have multiple orgasms. And have multiple orgasms. <laughs> Well, I think we're at time, and Angel probably has to go <laughs> save some trans yeah. kids. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, you know, fighting the, the patriarchy and the, the evil legislation and all that, you know, like the superhero shit that I do, so. <laughs> what, what can people do to help you with that? What can we yes. do to help you with that? Well, the easiest way to get clued in on anything to do with legislation in the U.S. is to follow the ACLU accounts, both within your own state and the nation nationwide one. Um, on top of that, you can follow accounts such as the App Foundation, uh, Pull Your Heart Out, and um, Equality Texas for uh, anti-trans kids legislation and how to fight those. Um, and outside nice. of that, you can follow me and other trans athletes like Chris, Chris Mosier, um, CC Telfer, Chloe Johnson, and anybody else who is doing amazing work in the space and, and helping a lot of kids out. And of course, like vote, you know, get these, get these really angry white men that hate everything that isn't them out of office and, yeah. you know make some change well thank you so much for doing that and for um doing this podcast as well <laughs> what a piece of shit thank you for your legitimately uh superhero level work and also for <laughs> for talking about farts and cum and tits 
<laughs> no, Which... don't worry. I feel like I, I feel like I've done a lot of like very serious talking the past like like month. So it's really nice to like sit back and then just laugh with a couple fucking funny people and just chill out. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> you're hilarious. Yeah, you're very funny. The listeners you're are very gonna, naturally are gonna funny. You. It's wonderful when you have a guest and you're like, I have no idea what's going to happen because I just <laughs> don't know this person as a comedian. And then they get on and you're like, oh, this person is a comedian. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. always wonderful. Well, so you're just very This person that's funny. serious all the time actually has a sense of humor. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> I feel like people who are the most, like, oftentimes when you're doing work, like, what you're doing, humor becomes, like, a relief, skill. like, in a yeah. skill, yeah, and so it becomes an important part of your life, and oftentimes those are the funniest people. Yeah. Completely agree. It was so, so great to meet you yeah, and talk with cry you. or whatever. Well, I'm not gonna- <laughs> <laughs> hit, hit rock bottom right now. <laughs> cry. I want to see the rock bottom I just really, really appreciate meeting you and speaking with you and you taking your time out of your day of boiling water (laughs) and going to the Olympics. And not feeling well. I hope you feel better. Yeah, you, I mean, if this is you on a bad day. (laughs) Gay Thought coming in hot, sponsored by the Patreon. No ads on this episode. So patreon.com slash WHGS and ashleygavin.com for my massive, massive tour across the whole U.S. The Northern Plains, the South, the Midwest, Pacific Northwest, West Coast, everywhere. Everywhere. I'm coming for you. I'm so excited. I'm going to make the gay thought for this week real quick. Is it required by law when you get a girlfriend that you guys get an extra cat? (laughs) I never meant to slip into a two-cat studio apartment situation, but I find myself here because of a woman, and now I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I lost my one cat to cancer, and then I immediately had to get another cat because my other cat was lonely. Are there queers at right out Right in, queer. Are you queer without a cat or a one cat situation? How did you do it? How did you do it? Women be shopping for cats. I love that this is my job. I love you guys so much. I can't even tell you how much from the bottom of my little bottom heart. I'm a bottom for Bottom Nation.